Hi there, Coach Sage with SageRing.com here. The training talk, I'm outside of uh, beautiful Salida, Colorado here, uh, near the top of S Mountain, mountain above town. Today we're gonna talk about uh, slow twitch, fast twitch muscle fibers and different characteristics of different runners that might change uh, your training or at least maybe how you taper and approach things. So uh, I'll simplify things a bit with muscle fiber type. Basically there's slow twitch muscle fibers and there's fast twitch muscle fibers. and uh, there, there have been found to be variants and different types. Some people say, oh, there's, you know, four different muscle fiber types, five different muscle fiber types. What you need to know is there's fast twitch and there's slow twitch, uh, type one, type two, A and B. Now the, the fast twitch come in kind of two different forms. And the important thing also to note before we get into this in depth here is, uh, that you could convert kind of, you could have some fast twitch muscle fibers become uh, more slow twitch in their properties, which kind of extends your endurance, and that's kind of the idea behind, uh, you know, endurance training is extending your endurance and being able to call in those different types of muscle fibers depending on what activity you're training for, what what your goal is as an athlete. So, uh, you know, the real thing is you could train some of your fast twitch muscle fibers. Think of it like your sprinting fibers uh, to to behave more like slow twitch muscle fibers, and so. Uh, you know, you could get a muscle biopsy. People get them done. I've never had mine done. It's, I hear it's really painful. They basically stab you, I think, in the quadricep uh, with a hollow type of needle. They extract some tissue pretty deep down and they can analyze it uh, and see if you're 60% slow twitch muscle, 40% fast twitch, or 90% slow twitch, 10% fast twitch, kind of uh, things like that. And again, this is an oversimplification, slow twitch, fast twitch. Because uh, there are kind of some intermediate different fiber types, but basically if you're all fast twitch You might be a great sprinter. You might be a great hundred meter sprinter You might be able to jump really high explosive power is what we're talking about with fast twitch muscle fibers You'll run hundred meter dash really really fast sprinting mechanics sprinting speed or just if you're all slow twitch uh, You know, maybe you you are better uh, at the longer distances marathon ultra marathon uh, But you can't jump at all. You can't you know, you don't have very good vertical. You don't have very good sprinting speed You're not very good at a 100 meter or 200 meter all out sprint uh, and you know that being said if you are a good sprinter and you do have good speed you might still have a good mix of slow twitch muscle fibers right a lot of world-class runners are very fast at a mile and they're also very fast at a marathon but at a certain point there's going to be a little bit of a trade-off and it does depend on your genetics what you're born with uh, you could thank your parents for that or not uh, but also your training and so the idea is that you want to optimize your training so you can take advantage of what your body naturally has to offer. And I'll just give an example of myself with some differences between slow twitch and fast twitch runners. Uh, just in my experience, I've again never been biopsied, but I could guess that I'm probably mostly slow twitch muscle fiber. I have a horrible vertical jump. I'm, I'm below average sprinting speed for 100 meters, I'd say. I've always been one of the slowest guys on the team at sprinting, 100 meters, 200 meters, even 400 meters. Uh, but as endurance starts to kick in and you strengthen your aerobic system, you could start making gains in the mile even, the 5K, 10K, and all the way on up. Uh, but how your muscles fall apart maybe during a marathon might be different. So, you know, doing high mileage, doing long tempo runs, doing work that, that calls on these muscle fibers, even if you have mostly fast twitch and they, get, they tend to get exhausted, they could uh, become more resistant to fatigue. So the slow twitch are better for the long call, the long, you know, fat burning types of, of efforts and being able to generate a little bit of power for longer periods of, of duration. Whereas fast twitch, again, are quick, explosive, they get exhausted really fast, but you could, your body kind of says, hey, I'm getting tired on one, one side and I need to recruit my muscle fibers. And the same thing with slow twitch uh, to fast twitch. If you're doing a long run, you might, I might start calling on the fused fast twitch muscle fibers that I have to keep running at the end of a marathon because my slow twitch fibers are getting tired uh, from pushing the limits in a, in a marathon race. Uh, but with differences between runner profiles, and again, my own personal experience, you might have your own personal experience in a club or racing other people or training partners, uh, things like that is, uh, there were a lot of guys on my college team uh, and as well as post-collegiate teams that I've run on that were definitely more, they had probably a higher percentage of fast twitch muscle fibers than I did. Uh, one of my teammates, Jimmy Weiner, he was a 342, 343, 1500 runner, about a four flat miler. He split four flat a lot for 1600 meter splits at Penn Relays at least. Uh, 148, 800 meter runner, still a great cross country runner, low 14 minute 5K type of guy. Definitely could have gone sub 30 for, for 10K. Uh, we would get in these battles and workouts where he could close really fast and I would be trying to sprint and I'd be locking up. 
uh, but he definitely had a lot more fast twitch uh, muscle fibers than I had. But then it, again, he wasn't training for marathons like I was uh, in college. So the differences in training we saw was mainly uh, during really fast track workouts and speed workouts. He could jump in with the 800 meter runners and the 400 meter runners and, and even sprinters and keep up with them and, and do workouts like really fast 200 meter repeats or all out 600 meters. Uh, very fast paces and kind of thrive on that. Whereas if I did that, I'd found that I'd, I'd get really dull. I'd try to sprint 200 meters, do a bunch of 200 meter repeats in you know, 30 seconds or something pretty fast for me, and it would absolutely flatten me. And I'd come out and race really, really flat. Uh, and same thing happened in high school too. Whereas he might, that might be a good sharpening type of uh, tune-up workout for him because his fast twitch muscles kind of liked that uh, fluid stride and being able to capitalize on that. Uh, whereas I'd be better off doing slower tempo run type of taper work. Uh, that being said, you don't want to do obviously a really hard speed workout right before your big race. But again, the fast twitch muscle fiber types might like a little bit more of a speed emphasis in their taper workouts. And this is like the last two weeks before your big race compared to uh, a more slow twitch person who usually likes more threshold tempo running, slower efforts, and also thrives generally more on higher mileage and long runs. Because uh, it does kind of change your biomechanics and, and your stride and, and running economy and all that. But again, these things can be trained. Uh, if, even if you come from a sprinting background, more explosive uh, sprinting background and, and faster running, you could always kind of extend your endurance uh, and, and improve that endurance and get some of those fast twitch muscle fibers to kind of convert over, hopefully, uh, to more slow twitch. So that's kind of the goal uh, with, with endurance training, especially, you know, half marathon, marathon on up. So... Thanks so much uh, for all your support on here, guys. Thanks so much to the Patreon supporters, especially. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Thumbs up if you like these types of videos. Uh, hope your running's going well. Stay tuned for more Sage Running videos.